Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Garmin's press conference one day before IFA 2019 opened its doors officially. My name is Kai Tutschke, and I'm the managing director at Garmin for the German-speaking Dach region. Running the Dach region, I'm often asked by journalists, dealers, and partners about our recipe to successfully transform our local business from a mainly navigation-centric brand into an authentic, active lifestyle brand that inspires people to become a better, a more active version of themselves. The answer is our attitude that we call Beat Yesterday. We simply love to challenge the status quo. For those of you here getting to know Garmin a bit better, we have prepared a little introduction for you showing what Garmin stands for. As you can see, Garmin is a diverse company with a strong sense of adventure. That sense of adventure is evident in the products we will announce today. Our CEO, Cliff Pemble, will share more about our business approach in a few moments, but not only Cliff came to this year's IFA, but almost 100 Garmin employees from 11 different countries will be in Berlin over the next days to make IFA a successful show for us as a global company. I would like to encourage you to take advantage of this opportunity and reach out to us with your questions after this press conference uh, at tonight's Showstopper event or during the next days here at our booth. We are happy to answer all your questions. The whole Garmin team is very approachable. In fact, the main reason for our success is Garmin's employees. Our amazing team carries us from one level to the next and embodies our mission to become better and help our customers to enjoy their activities and remain happy with our products. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Cliff Pemble, Garmin's president and CEO, who will introduce new products that underline Garmin's mission. Thank you for being here today with us, and welcome, Cliff. Thank you, Kai, and good afternoon, everyone. It's a privilege to be here at IFA to be able to introduce a sweeping uh, new update of uh, Garmin uh, wearable products. And these four new products that I'm going to introduce join a family of wearables that becomes one of the most comprehensive lineup of wearable products uh, anywhere on the planet. Before I begin, I want to talk a little bit about uh, a question I often get, which is, what kind of company is Garmin? Uh, from the video that you saw, it seems like Garmin uh, could be an automotive company, could be an aviation company, could be a marine company, or could be a wearable company. But we really don't think of ourselves in any of those terms. From our mission, it states that we'll be an enduring company by creating superior products for automotive, aviation, marine, outdoor, and sports that are an essential part of our customers' lives. So from this mission, we look at ourselves as an active lifestyle company. 
and we celebrate um, our customers' passions, uh, passions for health and wellness, for curiosity and adventure, and for mobility. Many people don't know that Garmin was one of the first pioneers in the area of wearable products. We came up with the first GPS-enabled all-in-one running watch back in 2003, over 16 years ago. Of course, since then, we've developed the running product line, and running has been a big focus of our company. But we've also branched into other areas of wearables as well. For instance, we've moved into the consumer health and wellness space. So for people that want to be healthy uh, and maybe exercise but don't necessarily aspire to be the fastest at the race. But we've also moved the other direction into adventure wearables. Uh, people that go beyond just running and do all kinds of adventure sports. And then finally, we've also moved into uh, the, uh, the luxury space as well. Um, in our Mark product line, so luxury smart wearables for uh, our active lifestyle customers. So those are the, uh, the broad range of wearables that we have in our company. So today we're introducing uh, four new products, the Venue, the Vivo Active 4 series, the Vivo Move series, and the Phoenix 6 series. So I'll be talking a little bit about those. Okay, so we'll start first with the Venue. Venue is Garmin's first product with an AMOLED color touchscreen display. So uh, here to kind of introduce uh, Venue and the, the features that it has is a uh, short video. Yeah, so as I mentioned, Venue is Garmin's first product with an AMOLED color touchscreen uh, display. And typically displays like this, of course, are a big impact on battery life, but Venue has a very long battery life, uh, up to five days. It's an advanced activity tracker, so it contains all of the health and wellness features uh, that you would expect in advanced uh, wearables, and I'll be talking a little bit more about uh, features across all of our products in just a moment. But it also includes music capability, and uh, Garmin Pay for payments as well as mass transit access as well. So this is an awesome new product. We're really excited about Venue and uh, becomes part of our overall wearable lineup now. Next is uh, the Vivo Active 4 series. So Vivo Active has been a product line in uh, Garmin's wearable lineup for quite a while and this is the next generation now of the Vivo Active series. But what's new about Vivo Active 4 is that it comes in two sizes, a smaller 40 millimeter size and a larger 44 millimeter size. And of course, it's an advanced wearable, so it has all of the uh, advanced features for health monitoring and payments and music as well. So here is a short video on the Vivo Active 4 series.
So as I mentioned, the Vivo Active 4 now comes in two sizes, a smaller size for people with smaller wrists and particularly targeting the female uh, customer audience, as well as a larger size in, in all kinds of styles and materials as well. Um, these products have super long battery life, so measured uh, one plus week uh, in battery life, and they contain our advanced um, tracking and health and wellness features. So I'll talk a little bit more about those uh, in just a moment. And again, coming with uh, music capability, Garmin Pay for payments and uh, transit system access. So next is the Vivo Move series. So this product um, is special because many people want to have uh, an advanced activity tracker, but they don't want it to look like an activity tracker. They want it to look like a traditional watch with an analog movement. So our Vivo Move series is designed to satisfy that kind of customer because it has traditional analog movement with a hidden display behind uh, the bezel so that when there's smart notifications or other data that the customer wants to see, uh, they can uh, simply see it, it lights up behind them. And it's a, a touch screen as well, so they can interact easily with the product. So here to introduce uh, a, a short video on the Vivo Move. Uh, so uh, pay attention to the monitors. So Vivo Move doesn't look like any other activity monitor that you've ever seen. Again, focusing on style and analog movement, but with the special uh, addition of a display behind the bezel that lights up when it's needed. The Vivo Move series has really four different models that we're introducing. So there's a Vivo Move 3, which comes in a small 39 millimeter size, and a larger uh, Vivo Move 3, which comes in 44 millimeter size as well. And then we have two versions that focus on materials and styles. So there's a, what we call a style version, which adds an aluminum case, and a luxe version, which adds a stainless steel case and sapphire glass. So we're focusing again on design and uh, appeal of this product um, as a smart wearable. But it has uh, all kinds of other interesting features as well, full heart rate capability and health monitoring. It has uh, Garmin Pay capability as well, so you can do mobile payments. And it's our first product uh, without a built-in GPS to connect to the phone and get GPS location information from the phone. So if you do want to go do a run or some other kind of location-based activity, you can do so with the Vivo Move. Okay, and then finally, I want to talk about our Adventure Watch series, the Phoenix 6. We actually introduced this product line last week at UTMB, but I want to share uh, with you as well, as it's a part of our complete lineup now of products, but the Phoenix 6 is special because it's adding bigger displays. Uh, it's adding new features for uh, particularly adventure sports and helping people with performance uh, management and measurement. Uh, but what's really unique about the Phoenix 6 series is that we've added a version with a solar display. So people often ask, uh, ask us, what kind of customer uh, buys a Phoenix 6? And uh, here to kind of introduce the customer and the, the market and the persona of people that, that uh, like the Phoenix 6 products is a short video on adventure sports. This is the face of fortitude. The face of authenticity. The face of resilience.
This is the face of adventure, the Phoenix Six Series from Garmin. So as you can see, a very unique market, a unique customer. And here to, to uh, introduce more about the Phoenix Six in detail is another short video. Okay, so the Phoenix 6, again, our adventure uh, wearable line, really special product uh, because it, it comes with super long battery life, battery life that we measure in weeks, not in hours or days. The two version, there's three versions of the product, three different sizes, there's 42 millimeters, 47 millimeters, and 51 millimeters. The two larger sizes have screen active areas that are about 15% bigger than the previous uh, Phoenix 5 Plus series. We've added a bunch of new features, including features that appeal to adventure sports people, such as uh, something we call Pace Pro, which is like a built-in pace scheduler for people that are training. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, something that's uh, really unique now for our Phoenix line is the addition of solar glass to the large version, which extends the battery life of the product about 15% and with the new power management features, allows the product to go for many, many weeks uh, without recharging the battery. So really awesome new product line in the Phoenix. Okay, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about the key features of uh, all of our wearables, some of the things that we can note about uh, Garmin that's unique in our advanced wearable space. So beginning first with uh, battery life, something I just mentioned. Earlier I told you that Garmin was one of the first companies to, uh, to be a pioneer in the wearable space. So that was 16 years ago. And the world looks much different 16 years ago in terms of microprocessors and memories and platforms that we were using. So we came about the wearable market from a totally different perspective than most companies who have entered the market rather recently. That means that battery life is super important to us and using screens that can be seen in the environment where people are actually using the product. When it comes to battery life, after all, the reason you have a wearable is to wear it and not to have it on a charger all the time. So comprehensive health monitoring is something that's very important to Garmin. We've developed our own advanced heart rate sensor that allows us to do, of course, all of the heart rate functions, including heart rate in very difficult circumstances across a range of sports, including swimming. But our heart rate monitor also allows us to do uh, additional things such as measuring the stress that somebody is experiencing. Using that information, someone's better able to kind of manage their day. Using stress, we can also um, uh, present to the user something that we call ba body battery. It helps them understand where they're using their energy and when they need to rest so that they can recharge themselves and have a more balanced day. We also have uh, pulse ox in our products. We use pulse ox as part of sleep tracking and we're doing new features in these wearables now to measure respiration rate, for example, so that we can help people understand how to better breathe and uh, um, accommodate additional sports activities such as yoga and Pilates. Um, the other thing that we've added to our uh, products rather recently is uh, menstrual cycle tracking for women, and I'll talk in just a minute about some of the success we've had there. But all of these wearables now feature menstrual cycle tracking as well. Okay, so these uh, new products, the Venue, the Vivo Active, have um, about 20 different pre-stored activities that the customer can use, but we've also included animated illustrations of workouts to help people know how they're supposed to do some of these exercises and help teach them. 
It's a lot better way, especially in a gym environment, instead of asking somebody, how do I properly lift? You can just look at your watch and you don't have to bother anyone or embarrass yourself. So we're really excited about uh, the animated uh, workouts and also the coaching that we have in our mobile app called Garmin Connect. Okay, so payments is a big part of our wearables. And uh, we're compatible now with uh, major payment systems such as MasterCard, Visa, uh, Discover, and the Maestro system as well. And uh, this uh, allows us to be compatible now with several hundred banks across the world. And it's compatible with uh, select transit systems uh, in major cities as well. Music is a big part of our lineup. So our Venue, our Vivo Active series, and the Phoenix series are all compatible with music providers such as Deezer, uh, Spotify, and most recently, Amazon Music. So you can take all of your songs and playlists with you using the Wi-Fi connections. The songs are easily loaded right on, onto the device and uh, the music is streamed to a wireless headset. Garmin Connect is our mobile app which allows people to manage the information from their device. So using Garmin Connect, you can easily see views by day or by week or by month of your health and wellness status. And I mentioned earlier that menstrual cycle tracking was a feature that we've recently added. In a very short period of time after introducing this, we've uh, subscribed more than one million ladies that have signed up to, to do menstrual cycle tracking. And a unique aspect of our system is that symptoms can be logged right on the device, so you don't need to mo uh, open the mobile app to be able uh, to do that. Our platform is also uh, open, so uh, we allow third parties to be able to utilize the data in partnership with us. And so over the years, we've uh, accumulated partners such as Strava and MyFitnessPal to be able to share our activity information. And we've shared over 2 billion activities with those partners uh, over the years. So a very powerful platform and a lot of widespread use uh, with other third parties as well. And then finally, uh, Connect IQ is our application platform for our mobile uh, wearable devices. Connect IQ allows third parties to be able to develop applications, new things that can be loaded onto the watch, such as applications, widgets, and new watch faces uh, as well. This platform is very powerful, in fact, so much so that we actually developed our music platforms for Amazon, Spotify, and Deezer using our own Connect third-party application development platform. We've had about 100 million downloads of applications, widgets, and watch faces from Garmin Connect IQ. Okay, so uh, this is the new series, the Venue, the Vivo Active 4, the Vivo Move, and the Phoenix 6 that's added to our lineup. And with that, we believe, again, we have the most comprehensive lineup of wearable products on the planet, from kids' trackers to runners to uh, advanced activity trackers uh, on up to the, the luxury uh, side of things with our Mark and our Adventure Series with Phoenix. So that is our lineup. Okay, so we're going to open the floor for some Q&A if any of you have a question that you would uh, like to ask now. So um, I have Phil McClendon here. Phil is the product manager for our uh, advanced wearables in the Venue and the Vivo Active Series. So uh, we're happy to take your questions. Yes, we have one here. And there's a microphone if you can use that. Can you explain um, how the SPO2 uh, sensor functions during sleep tracking? Because um, I know that it's a sensor that's become more and more prevalent, but it would be interesting to know how that data is used during sleep tracking in a simple form. Yeah, so can, go ahead. Um, I'll let you answer Sure, that. so yeah. it's, a, uh, it's an optical sensor um, similar to what you see on, on other devices um, that you would find in clinical environments. We run it um, through the wrist and we run it during the sleep period. Um, and we give the user the information so that they can see across their sleep period. Different devices have different lengths based on their battery life to see how their body is responding through the night. Um, with oxygen. Now with these, some of these new wearables, we've also brought in respiration. So in their sleep, they'll be able to see their stages, their pulse ox, and their respiration and get a comprehensive view of what their sleep looks like. Good. Others? One up front here. Yeah, bring a microphone. Sorry, you sp you've spoken about the kind of pushing more into health. Um, is ECG something that interests you as a company where some other companies have kind of explored that as a sensor? 
we're always looking at, at new technologies. You see that we've added a whole variety of new uh, health monitoring pieces. In fact, we have the broadest range of, of health monitoring across uh, the a day. Um, so we're always looking at new things. We don't have anything to announce today, but you can see with our sleep studies and so forth that we've partnered with major uh, health institutions. And so and we have a broad initiative in Garmin Health as well. Yeah, and the thing I would add to that is that we've been an ECG company for a long time with the heart rate straps, and so we're very familiar with the technology. We're looking for something that will really be um, meaningful and value add for the average customer rather than um, you know, some of the snapshot and interpretation approaches that are taken today. So we're, we're trying to, to do something that would actually you know, uh, uh, be more appealing to the average person. Yeah. Good. Others? Okay, thank you very much for attending this uh, press conference. Really appreciate uh, your interest, and uh, we'll be following up additional uh, interviews as well. So thank you very much. Have a good day.